Hi, Year Threes. Welcome to week four of spelling. This week we are learning about the trigraph, E A R, making the sound ear as in ear. All righty, Year Three. So let's just do a quick recap on what a graph, digraph, and trigraph are. So a graph is one letter that makes one sound. Can you do that action with me, please? One letter that makes one sound. Awesome. A digraph is two letters that make one sound. Can everyone do that with me, please? Two letters, one sound. Fantastic. A trigraph, we learned about these a couple of weeks ago. A trigraph is three letters that make one sound. Can everyone please do that action with me? Three letters, one sound. Awesome job. So, Based on that, we're learning about the trigraph E-A-R, making the sound ear. Our first word today is fear. Now, fear is an emotion that you feel or a feeling, and it's when you're scared or frightened, okay? So the sounds in the word fear are ear. So there are two sounds in the word fear. The letters in the word fear are F, E-A-R. If you had to remember how to spell this word, what might be the tricky part to remember? Perhaps it is our trigraph, E-A-R, making the sound ear. Can you please spell the word fear to me the same way that I spelled it to you? I'll say it again so you can remember how it sounds. F-E-A-R. Your turn. Fantastic. Our next word is near. If something is near to you, it is something that's close or it's within a short distance from a person or a thing. A good example would be Miss Conti's water bottle is near to her because she can reach it. The let, uh, sorry, the sounds in the word near are n, ear. So there are two sounds in the word near. The letters in the word near are n, e, a, r. Now, if you had to remember how to spell this word, what might be the tricky part to remember? Perhaps it is our trigraph, E-A-R, making the sound ear. Can you please spell the word near to me the same way that I spelled it to you? I'll say it again so you can remember how it sounds. N-E-A-R. Your turn. Great job. Our next word is clear. If something is clear, it means it's free from darkness or a haze. For example, if you've got a clear window, it's very easy to see through. Or um, it's very clear that Miss, ha Miss Happy, Miss Conti is happy because she's got a big smile on her face, okay? The sounds in the word clear are k, l, ear. So there are three sounds in the word clear. The letters in the word clear are C-L-E-A-R. If you had to remember how to spell this word, what might be the tricky part to remember? Perhaps it is our trigraph E-A-R making the sound ear. Can you please spell the word clear back to me the same way that I spelled it to you? I'll say it again so you can remember how it sounds. C-L-E-A-R. Your turn. Great work. This is why we write dear Miss Conti, for example, at the start of a letter, so that we so that the person we're writing the letter to knows that they are very special to us. The sounds in the word dear are d ear. So there are two sounds in the word dear. The letters in the word dear are d e a r. If you had to remember how to spell this word, what might be the tricky part to remember? Perhaps it is our trigraph, E-A-R, making the sound ear. Can you please spell the word dear back to me the same way that I spelled it to you? I'll say it again so you can remember how it sounds. D-E-A-R, your turn. Fantastic. Our next word is hear. To hear something is to receive sound by your ear or through your ear. For example, you might hear a loud sound with your ears. The sounds in the word hear are h, ear, h, ear. So there are two sounds in the word hear. 
the letters in the word here are H-E-A-R. If you had to remember how to spell this word, what might be the tricky part to remember? Perhaps it is our trigraph, E-A-R, making the sound ear. Can you please spell the word here back to me the same way that I spelled it to you? I'll say it again so you can remember how it sounds. H-E-A-R, your turn. Great work. And our final word for today is gear. Now there are a couple different meanings for the word gear. It might mean the part of a machine that moves and makes other parts of the machine move. Or how I always think of the word gear is the particular equipment, clothes or items that you might need for a particular purpose. For example, motorbike gear might include a motorbike, a helmet, some goggles and safety clothing. The sounds in the word gear are g ear. So there again are two sounds in the word gear. The letters in the word gear are G E A R. If you had to remember how to spell this word, what might be the tricky part to remember? Perhaps it is our trigraph E A R making the sound ear. Can you please spell the word gear back to me the same way that I spelled it to you? I'll say it again so you can remember how it sounds. G E A R, your turn. Fantastic. Great job with your spelling today, Year Threes. You should be so proud of the way you are going about your home learning and putting all of your effort into the, your tasks. We're seeing some fantastic work. Um, there'll be some spelling activities for you on Seesaw, um, and your teacher might decide to do a spelling test and dictation with you on Friday. Have a brilliant week, Year Three. Stay awesome.